everyone travels in the NBA. Let's be clear about this. But this one was an absolute, I'm just going to saunter for four steps. And the, the, the jazz players and the bench just freaking out was hilarious. I mean, listen, and, and over time you see some incredible calls that are missed. We have seen, obviously, a dunk that was missed, yeah. right? We saw a guy. A we got ref- more on that, by the we way. We saw a referee hand the ball to a player out of bounds to inbound the ball, and he just started dribbling. He just took the ball out himself and started dribbling. I mean, the brain lockup that you get. We've seen people standing out of bounds and refs not call it. We've seen some pretty amazing things. This was the most lackadaisical I'm just going to stop dribbling, and he explained why. Yeah, I mean, he, he, th- there was an explanation. Yeah, uh, you, you guys seen the movie uh, Italian Job? Yes. Yes. I had a bad experience. Yeah, this was. This is essentially what LeBron James said after the game. Yeah, yeah, it was the worst thing I ever. Probably one of the worst things I've ever done in my career. I didn't even realize I did it until halftime. To be honest, one of my coaches showed me. I didn't even realize I did it. I think at the same time I was watching the underneath play and KCP and uh, Donovan got into it. Um, KCP started to run, and then Donovan bumped into him. He fell on the ground, and I think I was ready to pass the ball. And my brain just kind of just <laughs> – I just had a malfunction. I really had a malfunction. So, you know, I feel bad for the refs on that one because, you know, they'll probably get a write-up on that one. That was, that was pretty bad. You, you think they'll get a write-up I had, I had on that I mean, he, the ref is right there. Well, that's like the Kevin Durant play last year. Remember when he took seven steps out of bounds and he saved the ball yeah, back Yeah, that's one of the ones I, I was talking about. That, so that are so obvious. Bogdanovich is standing there. You just see him looking around going, dude just walked two steps with the ball. <laughs> so, so we're funny. not going to talk about so, this. So, I mean, yeah. this isn't – and, and LeBron, <laughs> as LeBron said – It's the greatest thing, As LeBron man. said, he didn't even know it until halftime when a coach yeah. showed him a video of it. And then, he had no idea. And then you, you watch this also. Well, they, have, they have it on ESPN.com. Uh, they have the video of him starting the second half, and he's actually talking to one of the Jazz players. Hey, man, I didn't know. I, I didn't even know I did it. I, I, <laughs> that I, that is to show me. That is the classic Dave Chappelle sketch. I'm sorry, officer. I didn't know I couldn't do that. Like <laughs> you wonder, 17 amazing. years in, if your grandfather a certain amount of steps before they're actually going to call traveling. And, and listen, you know, you you listen to him, and you're like, he he gives you the act. He's not trying to hide from it. He goes, no. I did it. He goes, I was thinking about passing the ball at that point, and the guy I was going to pass it to. I wasn't able to pass it to, so he just carried the ball for two steps. The reaction of the of the, of the Jazz players oh my was God, just priceless. fantastic, and and he is right though when he said, "I feel bad for the refs; they're going to get written up." And boy, that's happened a decent amount. They're not not having a great year right now. The refs aren't, but man, the Lakers well, are. The like Lakers all of a sudden, exactly you look up, right. the Lakers and the Bucks are tied for the best record yeah, in the league are. at nineteen and three right now and i was just looking like we're starting to get to you know christmas day is sort of the marker of the beginning of a lot of the line of demarcation the nba season but we're we're, so we're getting through a whole fall of games though to kind of see what happens right now no surprise to anybody Giannis antetokounmpo second in the league in points per game fourth in the league in rebounds per game absolute mutant lebron james is leading the league in assists and Anthony Davis is leading the league in blocks right now. Like, he is on a defensive player of the year kind of trajectory for them right now, and LeBron has never been a better version of that point forward. And the one thing that we talked about with the Lakers as a potential fatal flaw was the lack of depth, and so far it hasn't been an issue because LeBron's played in every game, and we haven't had to worry about that. If you start thinking about it now, the way everybody's playing, because we weren't sure about LeBron, let's be honest, coming off the injury last year, his age, but he he is as good as, I mean, just fantastic player. We know who the great players are right right now, right? So if you had to pick one superstar in the East against one superstar in the West in a matchup in the NBA Finals to say, oh, my God, would this be great? Do we have the two right now? I think we do. Do we have Antetokounmpo and LeBron? Because did you see Giannis last night? My God, he oh, yeah. was taking threes from basically the parking so, lot. So, I mean, do we have the two guys? Another guy you could say is Luka Doncic. I, yeah. I understand he would be a guy you could pick from the, they, from the Western by the way, Conference. They, and they beat the Lakers. They, they did. Yeah. But, I mean, right now, if you were to say, I need the two best superstar matchup, we, we may have it right now. They have the best records right now. What, what else would it be if you pick an Eastern Conference, Western Conference, what other would it be than Antetokounmpo and LeBron right now? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.